Listen, there's two things I love in this world, and that's a couple of good drinks and one good Danny Trejo. And they collide in an episode of Bar Rescue 2, actually, this season. I covered the first one on my Patreon, and I'm, 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 I'm going to watch the second one today. So, dial the fuck in, and enjoy, I guess. Oh, Cleveland, Texas. I miss that entirely. It's only natural that I'm here with you because... You have restaurants, right? Yeah, and bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Danny is not only a successful restaurateur. Wait, hold on. John, John Taffer is actually out in the open here. John might actually be in this episode. Because the other episode of Danny Trejo, he was just behind a green screen the whole time. Now, Jeremy is George's son. What the fuck was that? Did this man just waterboard a pretzel? <laughs> what is that Blackbeard ass water? For the bar. John brings in Rob Floyd. Rob has influenced the culture of mixology across the country with his dynamic approach to recipes and customer interaction. Why does he even get the little viola note? Why? There was no. First of all, get those fucking eyes away from me, number one, all right? All right. Here they go. I, I know this isn't a phenomenal analogy for my guy here. He looks like Michelle, the cult leader I talked about in my four disturbing docs videos. The face is just a bit too similar that's the last thing i will <laughs> i will do to insult that man we'll do egg rolls we'll do buffalo wings guys yeah. you know damn well those egg rolls aren't gonna be good why are you doing that to them give them a shot be like hey yo give me the house special at the very least you know those egg rolls ain't shit stop oh god you see that right that of course i see that disgusting what is that cockroach hold on Hold on. What is that? Cockroach. Oh. Cockroach. Is he saying cockroach? Or is he saying cockroach? I think he's saying cockroach. The only reason I'm saying, I get bullied because I say cockroach. I always thought that's what cockroach was. I always thought that was the word. I don't know if it's maybe like a, like a quasi Mexican thing. Cause I'm like, oh, cucaracha. And I'm just like, you just put the A in the middle. As you would, uh, or I'm just making that up. It, it sounds like Danny said it. And if Danny said it, I no longer apologize for saying cockroach in my past. I've changed my ways since, but shout out Danny. <laughs> However, one thing I will never mispronounce is Built Rewards, today's sponsor. I currently own a home, but I rented for two years prior. And I hated renting because when I would sign the check at the end of the month, I kind of had to accept that that wasn't leading to any type of progression. I wasn't building anything. I wasn't bringing a big total cost down. It was just money out. But what if I could have earned points paying rent and had access to exclusive benefits with built partners such as transfer bonuses with airlines and status matches with hotels too specific <laughs> built is a loyalty program that lets you earn points on rent and around your neighborhood and there's so much you can do with built points they've been consistently ranked the highest value point currency by the points guy and bank rate and they're designed to fit your everyday lifestyle you can redeem them for flights and hotels workout classes toward your next month's rent payment and a lot more start earning earning points right now when you sign up to the link in my description or QR code on screen and make sure to use my URL so they know I sent you. And thank you Built Rewards for sponsoring this video. Look at the side of that. Look at the side of that. Oh god. That's disgusting. It's a fire hazard. It's just all grease. Say it. Say it! It's kind of a miss. The wings are a little cold oh, inside yeah. and the egg rolls are super oily yeah. to the touch. I'm sorry. But I've been arguing with my kid up there in the back, and he's the one that cooks, so mm -hmm. he probably is a little mad, and he probably is doing that on purpose, but I will take care of that. Why would you say that? Do you think that makes you look better as an owner? Just throw your kid under the bus? I'm sorry, I had a little petty squabble with my son, so he wants to now give you food poisoning. Oh, I, oh great. I thought it was your bad. Oh, fucking phenomenal. Yeah, we'd love another... <laughs> another plate. What the fuck's wrong with you? Still doesn't explain the roach in the corner. You can someone put that thing out of its misery? Jesus Christ! The camera has panned over to it 19 times. He's been fucking flailing for the past eight minutes. Just kill a guy. Maybe you should be a leader and be right here in the back of the kitchen. You, my, my kid and me don't see eye all the time, but. I'm sorry, Danny, what'd you just say? Everybody's just getting mad at each other. Absolutely. They're not communicating at They're all. Consistent. And they are communicating, just not in the way you'd like. There's cockroaches all over the floor. This place is an absolute di Cockroaches. There's cockroaches all over the Am I being double gaslit?
Google. I wanted to know how to pronounce cockroach. I didn't want to fucking hear a cockroach, but thank you for that. Cockroaches. It's as simple as cock roaches. Cockroaches. Slow it down for me. Cockroaches. Hold on. There's cockroaches all over the floor. He's saying cockroaches too. Hold on. So is this is this more normal than it seems? Because like I said, I've I've been bullied about this in the past, and I've and it has forced me to say cockroaches, which is apparently the correct way to say it. Cockroaches. Right. But we got two, two, count them, two upstanding gentlemen here. One of them with a hat saying cockroaches. I don't know whose side I'd like to be on at this point. The bar rescue fellas or the dictionary? I'm gonna continue to make this argument. Who's in charge of cleaning the fryer, emptying it every night and filling it back in? The cooks. The cooks are, okay, who? The cook. This is your soda gun right here, right? Yes, yeah, you use it every single night for everything, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. This is where you guys are getting all of anything that comes off the soda gun into your- and here's where I start to have issues with this show. It's kind of like, like Impractical Jokers. I would say most people like the show Impractical Jokers. It's funny. Sal, Joe, Q, Murr. I think Joe left. My point is, it's a cutesy show. It's funny, haha. But after the show continues to go on, grows in popularity, and these guys kind of become just faces most people will recognize, it's like, how are you guys still getting away with this? There's no way you were going into massive public settings with this many people and nobody recognizes you. I feel like at one point, your show just starts to tank. Everybody keeps catching you and being like, oh wait, I know you, haha. -ha. That's funny, am I being on, and it's gonna, and the fucking thing's scrapped, right? When you sign up for Bar Rescue, you know your bar is shit, you know your bar is dirty, you know your bar sucks, whatever the hell. And then, this is like a months long process, I would assume, I don't, probably, maybe longer. But, if you know they're gonna show up, you can pretty much look at your bar and assume everything that they're gonna point out. They're probably gonna look at this fryer and be like, ill. They're probably gonna check the soda gun, they always do that. They'll check the bottle, see if there's little fruit flies in there. Get rid of the dying cockroach. That's maybe step one. I guess my my thought process is, do they have to tell them. They have to, they have to slide them to 28. Hey, don't do anything you wouldn't do while we're prepping to go there. All the dumb shit you do now, the same way you take care of that bar now, keep it that way. Don't do any, don't, don't try and fix it up for us. We'll take care of that. That has to be a thing that's talked about. Yes, no, because then why would they, I, I mean, I guess they would subject themselves to the shame because they showed up, they signed up for the show and they know they're going to get it redone and they know they're going to get publicity, but I don't know. It's just some, it's something to think about. This was my friend that when we were eating, oh, oh, that was the oh, crawling no. all over the place. Oh. This is you, George. This there is no way in hell that you picked up that cockroach, sir, and still didn't kill it <laughs> this is my honestly honestly i feel this i feel this one right here i feel this one people are going at in front of you you're just like yeah this sucks i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna vamoose out of this one and uh turn off for a second if you don't mind i get this one this is a great this is a great face sir i love that what was i saying cockroach kill it kill the cockroach why did you pick it up why he's still fucking doing the turtle on its back thing and you're like check this out this man is going through hell right now the thing is that you're raising the boys at me like like i'm a because cat this is your uh -uh. Business. he said like i'm a cat is that what he said honestly just seeing seafood steaks and pizza i don't have high hopes for you i'm assuming they're all bad why is karaoke the only one not capitalized it doesn't matter so what's going on bro hey, what's up? you all right man yeah, i'm all right man Okay. Crazy well, last night. Last night was a movie. I'm Danny Trejo. I got five restaurants in Los Angeles. We're starting one in Detroit and one in London. Oh, one in London too. Okay, so he does have a lot of restaurants. I got to visit one of them. I got to see what's up. So I can criticize you, Danny, thinking you're above everybody. I was surprised to hear about the dead that they're in. Has this guy been present at all? Has he said anything? Even though he's the manager, apparently? This kid is bothering me. Who does he look like? He looks like a combination of people or one person. And I can't put my finger on it and it's bothering me a lot. He's like Barry Keoghan. What the hell's his name? Sabrina Carpenter's boyfriend mixed with Ernie from George Lopez. That's my final verdict. Have you ever been fired? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, twice out of the handful of times. Okay. So real proud of that one. We need runners. I guess this bell's not working. That does not work. We got perfectly executed food, but just sitting out there just getting cold. Why are you still... 
This is what I'm talking about. Why are you trying to fail? Stop trying to fail, guys. You're gonna do a shit job as is. Like, clearly you see, oh, what's your face can't make a drink to save her life. That's fine, that'll go, that'll come with time. Barry in the back? His stupid ass little antique bell is making no noise. Use your voice, project. Hey, we got an order back here! And someone should come! And at that point, if no one comes, well then you're not very good at making people come, are you? That's a life lesson, there you go. Danny, say that next time. This is too short, let's dump it. That's like 10 drinks. We have three drinks out here. It's like at that point, like, talk, just give it to me, please. I am parched. I've had a stressful day. Just give me it, bro. Let someone else have the perfectly aligned one. Almost short. Y'all weren't kidding about this stress test, were you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there watching. Just, ah! You can't stop me. I will say, I definitely want to redesign for these guys. I don't know if they've necessarily a name change, but the logos. Design sucks. Wagon wheel. I mean, it's not, it's not, I don't think it's a bad name. Wagon wheel restaurant. It's fine. I wouldn't mind a name change, but the design sucks. So for sure, flip that. We call this the high octane espresso martini. I can really taste the coffee. All right, listen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hope so. <laughs> he still kind of looks like someone else. I don't know. It's bugging me out. I was trying to think of the comparison for this guy, and it's really bugging me. I can't get it. It's like the wheelchair fella from Scary Movie 2 and Big Show, Final Verdict. How did you feel about this experience? It opened my eyes. I was lost. I know where the money's going now. Denny, you told me something. Family. Stop glazing, bro. <laughs> you keep picking daddy. Yo, daddy told me so much. Shut up. Go try to be his friend. One, two, three. Oh no, I, I still see the shitty little karaoke light up sign. Let's see it, let's see it. Come on. Yeah, way better. We got a drunk inside! What? So, uh, where's Elvis? <laughs> Did you guys move him? We used Crown's cutting edge bar configurator, Barflex Pro. Then they took it as. Oh, God. Bro, I at least start this by saying, hey, this video is sponsored by. It is a little bit. This video has a paid promotion thing on YouTube. Look at this guy. He doesn't. He's just sitting there thinking, am I going to listen to a commercial for the next four minutes? I want to look at my bar. Another thing that's going to relieve the pressure from you guys is our SkyTab POS system, okay? Oh, oh. I love being advertised that while I'm looking at a bar on Bar Rescue where all the brand names have tape over them in the back. Can't make great drinks unless you have the tools to make them. Unless you have the names fucking covered. We got Cocktail Kingdom tools. Uh, cockatails, you gotta say it right. In the kitchen and here in the bar, we worked with a company called Osri Inc. Oh God, you guys are still going. For the kitchen and we have some. That sign sucks. We got a brand new menu. Nothing but the best sellers, especially Tacos. Damn, even even he, even Danny got a piece of the pie. Even Danny got in there. Danny got in the advertising. Damn. Now, Jeremy's doing a great job right now. I mean, look at him. He looks really organized and like most importantly, he's having a good time. He's happy. That's good. Who's sat in the back? Why do they get no love? Hey, guys. How y'all going? Oh, guys. My guy Ruben might be the least important manager in bar rescue history because usually the manager is so honed in on because he's the fucking manager. And we've gotten nine lines from Ruben and just a couple of good smiles from him. I'm assuming he's doing well. Good for him. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so excited to come back to Cleveland. I'm so excited to come back to Cleveland. That's uh... <laughs> That's a, that's a bingo board for things never said. I still don't like that all the words are capitalized except karaoke. Promotional consideration provided by Houston First Corporation. I just listened to that for 16 minutes straight. I'm okay, thank you. Well, that was another episode of Bar Rescue. I covered the first episode on my Patreon, also with Danny Trejo. I believe those are the only two episodes with Danny this season. But I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I am Mr. Gigi, and I am out. <laughs> Gamer subs, code Mr. G, 20% off. 20% off, 10% off. Don't listen to that. You're going to get me in trouble.